I'm pretty sure that I lost connection there because when I went to upload it, it says it's only uploading a minute and 18 seconds of my reasons for hating when people say that they're doing it to prove someone wrong. So I thought I'd jump on and just kind of continue. Now I was on a roll, so I don't, I'm not going to try to repeat what I said because that would just be unnatural. But I do want to say that when we are looking for outside sources to determine our success, then it's a clear sign that we probably are lacking a belief, self-love, or we have doubt in ourselves. And it's important to address these things because the main motivation for us is always going to be internal motivators, internal emotions that we can then connect to a reason why in order to move forward. Now, the reason why, for those of you jumping on, I'm filming this is because I just did a live video on it. And it only uploaded a minute and 18 seconds. And I was like, why? So go back and watch that. And then you could watch this too. But basically what I'm getting at is I really don't like this because it's saying that you need validation in order to determine your success. It's, it's a key sign that in saying that you want to prove other people wrong, that you then believe that you're the outside validation, that outside confirmation of your success is all you need, when in reality, what you truly need is the belief in yourself, that unshakable faith that you are absolutely capable of accomplishing it, regardless of what others say. Keeping in mind that a lot of times what happens is the people who we don't think believe in us or the people who we want to prove wrong are the ones who actually believe in us but they're just too afraid to admit it because they are projecting this doubt that they have in themselves. And they want to give you every reason to be afraid to move forward because it's like the crab basket, right? Hey, Martin. Yes, unshakable faith. Now, I really wish that the video had uploaded in full because I find that Facebook Live sometimes does that. It's so bothersome. So I wanted to make sure I got this out. Thank you for all the likes. Hi, Dawn. Hi, hi. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is that when we rely on other people's validation to determine our success, then we really struggle to actually find that belief in ourselves. And then this can keep us from moving forward and progressing if we're always seeking outside or external factors to determine this. Now, if we can actually believe in ourselves to the point where we don't need any validation from anyone, if you guys remember that video I did, how confidence does not need validation, confidence is literally about you owning who you are and stepping into that power every single day. There is nothing else that determines that besides you. And it's sad when I see people, people who are top leaders in their industries. Like I've been to so many conferences and seminars, I'm not going to even name names, but there are people who have massive, massive following. Um, and they are constantly saying how they're doing it to prove them wrong. And they just want to prove everybody wrong. And so-and-so said they couldn't do it. So they're doing it. And so-and-so didn't believe in them. And I'm thinking you have massive, massive internal issues. And I'm, I don't obviously say this to them, but clearly if you are reliant on someone else telling you you're successful or someone else seeing that they were wrong, then you are not only showing this self-doubt, but you're also showing a lack of self-love. And Martin, that's great. You said you've never been proven to prove someone wrong. You've never been driven to prove someone wrong. Absolutely. It's, it's very powerful when you can just automatically just know in your heart that you are going to achieve it. It's a matter of truly, truly believing that because the thing is we go through every single day making decisions. And if every decision is based on, oh, if I do this, I know this person's going to be like, wow. And you know, like how they say like, oh, like proving someone wrong or having a smile on your face is the best way to get revenge. It's like, no, no. Putting a smile on your face is the best way to feel internally happy. You know, everything should come from an internal motivation, an internal driver, because ultimately at the end of the day, you are the one who's making the decision. You are the one who's progressing. You are the one who's deciding your success. Don says, haven't got time to prove people wrong. Too busy being a badass version of myself. <laughs> I love it. Yes, you, you are amazing too. Thank you. And I'm glad you love it. So basically... I just want to let you guys know, like every single day you have the opportunity to make choices and these choices can be stemming from an internal belief and motivation or an external factor. And as I mentioned in the first portion of this live stream, there's this thing called your locus of control and I did a YouTube video on it a while back. So you could just go celestial fit on YouTube and search um, locus of control, but it explains, I'm explaining how if you have external factors motivating you. It is a lot harder to stay motivated and stay on track.
When you have internal motivators motivating you, internal reasons, internal factors, you are more likely because you're taking responsibility for your actions rather than pushing it on other people or relying on that, etc. Now, I think it's really, really key that we change the way we think, we change the way we speak, we change our words, etc. because these are the things that are going to determine our actions. And when you have that belief in yourself and know that everything is within you, everything is literally within you, that every decision you make is going to be flawless, effortless, because you know and you trust that you're on the path to achieving the success you desire. Yes, we always have choices and internal motivated, internal motivations are a huge deal. It is so true. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that it's so important to watch what we say and also be aware of the people surrounding you. If they're always basing their success off of external motivators, and what I found too, by the way, if this wasn't in the first live stream, I have no idea, is that a lot of times the same people who talk about how happiness is not based on other people or you shouldn't find happiness from other people's validation, etc., are the same ones who are saying all the time, prove them wrong, do it to prove them wrong. I mean, there are literally speeches out there of people just motivating you to prove other people wrong or prove people who have done how did you wrong? And this blows my mind because instead of focusing on proving everybody else wrong and getting our validation from outside sources, we should be focusing on changing our own mindset and our own internal beliefs in order to progress in our journeys. Because there's always going to be people who don't believe in you or who are too afraid to admit that they believe in you and they're actually just scared of you achieving the success that they know you can achieve, that they know you're capable of achieving. There's always going to be people who disagree with you. There's always going to be people who don't understand your journey, your path, your choices. Ultimately, it comes down to what you believe in yourself. What do you truly want and desire? Chelsea says, so key. That's one I had to work on for a while. And Martin says, always look within first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because if we look without for everything, here's something, that's the, here's something to remember. A lot of times when we look for external factors and we're looking for that external source of validation or success or drive, it actually is a sign that we need to look within and everything that we need to find when we're looking without ends up leading us back to ourselves. Because think about it, every day you're sitting with yourself. You're making decisions with yourself. The choices you make are impacting you, not everybody else. So when you're looking to achieve success, stop trying to prove everybody else wrong. Sally says, good point, well made. Absolutely, thank you. I'm glad you think so. And Byron says, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hell yeah. It's just a matter of looking within. And I truly believe that we can be, achieve, have, and do everything and anything that we desire in life with the proper focus and mindset. So I was thinking of the fact that in my book, and also a guide, really, it's more of a guide, the guide to believing your way to badass, I literally talk about how to redefine your beliefs, develop your self-love, and manifest your, manifest your way to your best, most badass self. This is definitely a great thing to look into, put your nose into for a while, journal in it, because seriously, this book, I wrote it so people could change their mindset now. It's like that jumpstart, kickstart to actually doing it, and I give away pretty much a shit ton of value that I paid thousands of dollars for, but I wanted to be able to impact the world with it, because that's ultimately what matters to me, is being able to take the knowledge I have, and know, and learn, and give it to you guys. So, Don says, external motivators are like fashions, they come and go, but owning who you are is like owning your style. Yes, so true, girl, I love it. And it really just comes down to your belief, your mindset, your focus, because whatever you focus on, you're going to find more of. So when you focus on all these external factors and all these people who don't believe in you, you're just going to find more of that. But when you focus on the fact that you have it all within, you're badass, you're kicking ass, and you got this, you're going to find yourself doing that. So if you haven't yet gotten my book, it's a very small monetary investment, but if you can give yourself the commitment, the investment of your time, energy, and effort, then that would be amazing. Thank you guys for the love, hearts, and the likes. <laughs> so awesome. Um, then you'll find that you really can redefine your beliefs. You really can look within and see where these beliefs are coming from, why you need the external motivation. You can shift your locus of control. It's all very possible as long as you believe in it. So you can go to www.celestial.fit for my book, or you can just search it on Amazon. Just search my name or search Believe Your Way to Badass because I'm telling you, you guys can totally achieve it with the proper focus and mindset without looking for the external factors. Confidence doesn't need motivate. Confidence doesn't 
need validation. Confidence just needs you to step into it and own it. So believe your way to badass. If you haven't gotten it, celestial.fit. Thank you, Chelsea, for putting that in the comments. Super awesome of you. You guys rock. And hashtag inspire others all day, every day. I love it. So true. Celestial.fit. Click it. Click the link. It's on the homepage. It's literally, you can see the video for it, the trailer for it. I'm super excited for you guys. What do you think about this? Do you think that it's good to always think of proving other people wrong? Do you think that's a good way to motivate yourself? I am in a non-judgmental space. I'm always from that appreciation, that curiosity. So I'm an open book. I'm also an open heart. I'm here for you. So come to me if you need any help. What I do is I literally, I do fitness coaching and mindset mentoring together, but I also have specifically mindset mentoring clients, people that I mentor in their mindset to help them achieve, be, do, and have whatever they want in life, especially in terms of their self-love and their confidence. So belief is a huge deal. If you haven't yet gotten the book, Believe Your Way to Badass, go check it out right now. And I cannot wait. Send me a picture of you with it. I love it when you guys do that. It's so much fun for me. And I appreciate you all so much. (laughs) Thank you guys for letting me come on for a second time and sharing this message. If you haven't yet watched part one, you might as well. You've made it this far. And Chelsea says, prove yourself right that you can make your dreams come true. Absolutely, you can every single day. And Don says, what do these people do when they've proven others wrong? Do they stop what they're doing? Exactly, Don. I mentioned that in the first round. I don't know if it ever posted all the way through, but this is what I was saying. Eventually, you're going to prove someone wrong. And then what? You're just going to sit there and be like, Uh, or what if you're the last one of all the people in your life to be alive? Like, what are you going to do then? Like, it's all about your internal satisfaction, your internal belief, your internal validation. So if every single day you can go through life validating yourself, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, you're going to find that life comes a lot easier to you, a lot more abundance and a lot more fulfillment. Because when you seek fulfillment from within, it comes a lot easier and a lot more automatically. So it's a matter of just releasing any blocks and limits holding you back and truly believing you're rated badass. So Dawn, I love you. <laughs> you're awesome. Chelsea, Martin, thank you guys so much for jumping on. Sally, you rock. Rita, everybody on here. Dylan, um, Dravka. Let's see who else was on. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your time. To those of you watching the replay, I appreciate you. And there's a comment below with the exact link to my website, www.celestial.fit. Click it. You can get the book there or just search my name on Amazon. To those of you, wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, just make it awesome. Bye.